I will not fail. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. Guardian. Guardian. Eyes up, Guardian. After all these years, we never talked about it. Why I brought you back. Why you were chosen. The truth is, I didn't know them. Ooh, piece of kid. It was just a feeling. But I know now. I got you, homie. After all oh, there we've he is. seen, there's my favorite white boy. All we've lost. I this call this one the Campfire Tong Tong. Might be our last. So I'm asking you. Yep. Whoop. Howdy, fellas. I'm Bender. Go to hell, old man. I like your attitude. Let's party. One last time to rise. Good evening, Twitter. He copied my oh, whole fucking shit. flow. That's kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. Off this epic confrontation with the witness that we've been setting up for years, it has to bring you closer to your allies in the vanguard. It has to be this place that like makes you feel nostalgic for the. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, god damn it! Why is it always gonna be whipping out the N word? Guardian enters, the rest of the Pale Heart starts getting shaped also around what we've experienced. This is the traveler recreating the world in front of you as it saw on your journey. One of the most memorable blocales from Destiny's past is the D1 Tower. It's really a labor of love from the Destiny team, a labor of love from the Destiny team. Huh? Huh? Subjugators. Subjugators are the new unit you're going to be facing in the final shape. They have an enhanced power set. They're performing stasis powers and strand powers to face the Guardian. They're back there pinging away with stasis abilities, throwing crystals at you, freezing you in place, Ooh. tangling you up. jumps up into the air, summons this giant void axe, throws it, summons another one, throws it, summons another one, looks at a different group of enemies, throws it. 
And when these axes fly through the air, they stick into the ground or an enemy, do their void gravity thing where they suck a bunch of energy and enemies in and then explode. But that doesn't destroy the axe. The axe sticks around and you and your allies can go and pick up that axe and start wailing on enemies with it. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! The hunter arc super. Arc is all about finding the shortest distance between two points. The hunter kind of rears back, takes this knife and throws it across the world, and then is able to blink to its position, do the slash that just decimates anyone nearby. One really great thing about that is not just you do it once, but you're able to do it three times, along with devastating attacks each time you do it. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's actually scary as fuck. Oh. Oh, God, I grab that. Well, I mean, is this Diane? You know, that's Warlock Super is this ultimate expression of solar energy coursing through your Guardian. This solar Warlock Super is a callback to Radiance from D1. Other than Golden Gun, this is the only other first person super in Destiny right now. Your melees. <laughs> Oh, like all of these these projectiles going off, doubling the amount of projectiles, your grenade almost being sentient as it searches around and then it hits a character and bounces off and goes to another one. And you're so overflowing with this energy that you are also giving it to your allies, allowing them to have their solar weapons supercharged, applying scorch when they're shooting. The new That's it? I cast my rift. It is going to create this little solar soul that when it sees an enemy, it launches part of itself out and hits the enemy and explodes and scorches them. It just feels very alive. Pyramid fusion rifle, it has the really intriguing property of adapting your Guardian's current damage type. Tessellation has the additional property that you can special reload to uh, reshape your grenade and suck it into the weapon uh, and then fire out a super destructive single projectile. What is that bro? <laughs> what if Golden Gun was a sniper rifle? You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. We had a moment where we saw that traveler beam cutscene. I know people on weapons went, I kind of want that. You're like, that is incredibly dope. opportunity to bring back these iconic Destiny 1 weapons, but really turn it into something that feels unique in Destiny 2. We have to bring Kvastav into the fold. The Red Death exotic pulse rifle. And Dragon's Breath, burn the world, burn it all. For Paul to take a little trip. Paris and the bastard. Dallas. Paris. The rocket pistol sidearm subfamily. We always liked the special ammo sidearms. This fires tiny slow-moving rockets. They hit very hard, do a bit of AOE damage. It's gonna be an exciting year for Guardians. We get to make good on a promise that we made way back in 2014. There was classic rock blasting, fire team racing across our solar system and at the end a simple message become <laughs>